in our neighborhood. Now, have you ever thought about the fact that Jesus had to walk everywhere? He didn't have a car or a horse. If he wanted to go to another town, he had to walk. Sometimes he had to walk through mountains and sometimes it would take hours or, or even days. It's a lot of walking. I think sometimes Jesus got tired. There's this one time where Jesus was going back to Galilee. He had to walk through the country of Samaria. Remember, Jews and Samaritans hated each other, but Jesus walked through Samaria anyway, instead of going around, which a lot of people, they just would go around Samaria, but he chose to walk through the middle. And they stopped at this town. We read in John that Jesus sat down beside a well about noontime, because he was tired from the long walk, wanted to take a rest. His disciples, they went to find some food. So Jesus was sitting there by himself at this well. And while he was there, a woman came to draw water at the well. Now the woman that was coming to the well, she didn't have a very good reputation. People didn't think good things about her. And I think that's why she was coming to the well at the hottest time of the day so that she could avoid all the stares and all the comments from all the other women. The cool thing is, is that Jesus doesn't really care what people think. And so he talked to the woman, he asked her for some water, and then they had a conversation. And they talked about water, and they talked about Samaritan beliefs, and ultimately Jesus talked about how this woman could have a full and abundant life and that how he could save her. I love what the Bible says about the disciples and how when they came back from getting the food, they saw Jesus and this woman talking together. And it says that the disciples were shocked to find Jesus talking to a woman, but none of them had the nerve to ask, what do you want with her? Why are you talking to her? And why was Jesus speaking to her? He was speaking to her because when he looked at her, he didn't see all the bad things that other people saw, the sins of her past. He saw somebody that needed Jesus, that needed him. You know, it makes me wonder, how do we see the people around us? Are we like the disciples that just see the bad things about people and their shortcomings? Do we avoid people because of the way they look or because of the things they do or because of how they act? Or are we more like Jesus who just see people that need him? And so here's our discussion question for today. Who is somebody that you know that is always alone or is an outcast? And how can you invite that person to follow Jesus? Happy New Year, everyone, and thanks for joining us today, and I hope you have a great week.